merger in the world of advertising has been called off. The heads of Omnicom and Publicis signed the $35 billion deal in July. Now, though, they've killed it. Someone familiar with the situation cites failure to agree the roles of management. China Airlines has agreed a deal to settle claims it conspired to fix cargo prices. The Taiwan-based carrier will pay $19 million to end a lawsuit in New York. The agreement is part of a case initially brought against more than two dozen carriers worldwide. 21 other airlines have already settled. And Toyota is celebrating a record profit in its 2013 accounts, but it's not expecting a repeat anytime soon. The world's largest car maker is forecasting a profit slump this time. That's amid intensifying rivalry in the U.S., weaker sales at home and less help from the yen. Even so, President Akio Toyota remains upbeat. If I'm not confident the growth would be sustainable for the next five to ten years, I wouldn't be sitting here today. My confidence is backed by the effort of 330,000 global staff and support of our affiliates and subsidiaries. I strongly believe favorable results will follow if we keep putting in the effort in coming years. And those were the company headlines. I'm Rosalind Chin.